Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for Scorpio singles. So singles, we're going to take a look at your next relationship. So we're going to look at this person's characteristics as well as how the relationship will play out. So let's go ahead and jump into the messages and see what this person is like. So Spirit, give me some messages for Scorpio person, Scorpio singles next relationship. Okay, what do I have? Okay, so I have the King of Cups. I have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Let's get some more messages okay i have the two of wands let's get one more i'm already feeling like this person is like a hopeless romantic um but they've had like some difficulties some challenges when it comes to relationship like meeting the right person um meeting someone who's going to fulfill them because they have a lot of love to give um they're very emotional. I have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like this person like may have um, had a perspective or may currently have a perspective where it's like they believe in love at first sight. They're like this hopeless romantic. And it puts them in situations where they can be easily emotionally manipulated and taken advantage of i feel like for some like with this two of pentacles this person is starting like to doubt if they're ever going to find the right person if they're ever going to find their true love so it's like they're kind of iffy on whether or not they should continue to give themselves when it comes to a connection that they should continue looking searching for the right person i feel like for some like they're just ready to turn their back on relationships period because they've dealt with people that really didn't have good intentions this person i'm looking at like this two of wands and how she's sitting on the house and looking at the moon it's like this person, they just want to be loved. They just want to find their match. You know, they just want their happily ever after. Um, they just want to meet someone that has a pure heart, pure intentions, just as they do. So let's clarify. Spirit clarified the King of Swords. Okay. Look at what I have. A King of Cups. I'm sorry. Justice. And the Five of Cups. Exactly. This person wants marriage. They want a serious relationship. But like they haven't met the right person. They've had like a lot of failed relationships. They just haven't met their match. And so it's like they're focused on their past experiences. The time wasted. The energy invested. The fact that they really didn't get what they wanted. Um, they're starting to lose hope that they're ever going to meet the right person. It's like, why me? Like, I'm a good person. I have so much to give. But it's like, I can just never meet the right one. Like, why do I keep on ending up, you know, with these failed connections? I desire commitment. I desire marriage. Like, why won't anyone choose me? Why doesn't anyone want to be with me? So it's kind of like this person is having a pity party. Let's get a message for the Two of Cups in the reverse. What do I have? The Ace of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, like this person can be like very direct. They're very direct. They're very upfront about what they want. They don't hold anything back. Um, I'm looking at the crown for some of you like this person may have like a very prestigious career um, or maybe an authority figure at their company. But yeah, this person can be very direct um, for some like they're so direct to the point where they may push people away. 
because they're too outspoken. Let's get a message for the Two of Wands. Yep, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. It's like they have so much to give, but they never meet the right person who's going to reciprocate. Like, they're always the one giving, overdoing, you know, um, trying to hold the relationship together. They never find that balance. Let's get a message for the Knight of Swords. What do I have? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is like a very hard worker. They are a very hard worker. I feel like they've had people who have taken advantage of them, especially monetarily. They've used them for their money. Yeah, they've dealt like with a lot of people. I heard like snakes in the grass who really were just out for their own gain. I'm just getting the energy of like this person like doing a lot. Like this is someone who will do a lot for the person they love. And people would definitely take advantage of that. And I heard like naive. People think this person is naive because they're very um, giving. And for some of you, they get attached very quickly. They can fall in love easily. Let's get a message for the Two of Pentacles. They haven't learned how to set boundaries. And for some of them, like they haven't learned the importance of just taking their time to get to know a person, you know, fill the person out, vet them out before you start investing. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. For some of you with this justice, um, this person could be a Libra. I can't make it up. The Six of Pentacles. This person is a doer. They like to give. They like to take care of the ones they love. Yeah. Like, they don't mind working hard. They don't mind juggling it all. Like, if they love you, they will do what it takes. But again, it's like they're starting to, you know, turn their back to the thought of ever finding the right person. Let's get some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about this person for Scorpio that is coming in. What do I have? Wonders. They believe in magic. Again, this person is a hopeful romantic. They believe in the magic of life, the magic of love. They believe in the impossible. They believe they're going to meet their Prince Charming or their Cinderella. Let's get another message. What do I have? Wisdom. Yeah. I heard like wise beyond their years. I feel like this person is wise, especially with this ace of swords here. But a lot of their wisdom has to do like with their career. So this person is like very business savvy. I heard like investments. Um, They're very wise when it comes to money. Um, investing their money wisely, saving their money. They really know how to build. Um, This is someone that you can learn a lot from when it comes to like financial independence. Let's get another message. Yeah, when I say this person believes in miracles, believes in the impossible, like, for some of you, this person, I, with miracles, I'm getting like a health scare. This person may have had a health scare or some type of health condition that they've overcome, a health challenge that they have defeated in the past. Let's get another message. Okay, Spirit gave me, oh, wow. Okay, three messages. We will take it. I have openness, purity, and taking risk. 
I heard on the wild side. So for some of you, this person has another side to them um, that is very adventurous. Um, they like to live a little bit on the wild side. I'm getting like someone wearing like a black leather jacket on a motorcycle. So this person, um, I heard club. They may be a part of a motorcycle club for someone. But I feel like with this openness and pure purity, um, they're really searching for someone who had who has a very good heart who is genuine um who believes in magic just like they do who believes in love just like they just like they do they're searching for their divine counterpart you know that person that just fulfills them and vice versa so let's look at what this connection will be like Spirit, tell me what is Scorpio's, okay, that flew out. I have no contact. Let's get some more messages. Tell me what Scorpio's relationship is going to be like with this person. I have missing you. Tell me what Scorpio's relationship is going to be like with this person. I have romance and affection. Let's get one more message. Okay. And I have walking away. Okay. So, with this romance and affection, this person is going to spoil you. Um, They're really going to want to do a lot for you. Again, they're hopeless romantic. I'm getting, like, attachment issues. This person, like, may have attachment issues. That's why they overly give when it comes to relationships. But... This person is going to like scare you off for some of you. Like them being, you know, like overly emotional, um, doing too much. That's what you're going to feel like. Like this person is just doing too much and it's going to push you away. It may scare you. Um, so for some of you with this no contact, you may end up ghosting this person. Let's clarify further. Spirit, tell me more about no contact. I have the ten of swords yeah y'all gonna end up leaving this person or ghosting this person and this is going to hurt them again they're gonna be in this ten of swords energy but i feel like this person needs to learn like a lesson they keep on repeating the same cycle it's something that they haven't learned that's why they keep on going through the same thing this isn't the first time someone has done this to them yeah you're gonna end up leaving give me a message for missing you yeah, I'm getting this clingy. This person may come off as being very clingy, Scorpio. I have the Three of Cups. Yeah. For some of you, I'm just getting like, you're going to be living your life like this person may try to move too fast or may get attached too quickly. And it's like, you're not going to be ready for that. You know, you don't mind dating, but it's like, you're going to want to take it slow. You're still going to want to hang out, you know, with your friends. Um, You're still going to want to live your life, but this person is just going to, they're going to want to be up under you a lot, like all the time. And so it's going to become very frustrating because you still want your independence. You don't want to be around this person 24-7. So it's like when you go out, <laughs> this person may call you a lot, text you a lot. Like, what are you doing? Are you safe? I'm just checking on you. Yeah, and I heard like annoying. It's going to become annoying for some of you. Let's get a message for romance and affection. Yeah, I have the king of swords. For some of you, what I'm getting is like, this person is going to turn you off. <laughs> Like, how this person behaves. Like, it may be a turn off for you. Yeah, you may not want it. I mean, you may end up declining this person's advances for some of you. Let's get a message for walking away. What do I have? 
the four of wands. Yeah, you you don't want what this person wants. And, you know, if you do, it's not with them. It's like, you don't want what they want for some of you. And for others of you, it's like, yeah, you may want to be married, but not them. Like, this isn't the one. That's what you're going to be recognizing. Like, this isn't the one. No, this isn't the person for me. Yeah, and I'm just getting a feeling of just, like, feeling bad. Like, for some of you, you're going to feel bad, you know, because this person is a nice person. But it's like you're going to recognize that, you know, there are some things that they still need to work on. And so it's like you don't want to get into a situation where you're not happy. Despite what they do. Despite, you know, them wanting to provide. Like, you still have to have that emotional connection as well. And for some of you, I'm getting like you may not even be, like, attracted to this person. Spirit says not as much as they are attracted to you. So, let's get some final messages. Spirit, give me some final messages for Scorpio. Final messages for Scorpio. What do I have here? <laughs> Look what came out. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And let's get another one. Ooh. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So what I'm getting is like this person... Um, is really going to be feeling you. Yeah. They are really going to have some very deep emotions for you. But again, it's a cycle that they repeat. Like, you're not the first one that they've fallen in love with so quickly. And, you know, you will not be the last Scorpio. I feel like with this flirt, um, I heard like attention. I feel like you're not going to be really giving this person a lot of attention. Because for some of you, I'm just getting like a feeling that you're going to be turned off like very early on into the relationship. So it's like you're already going to be dating other people or talking to other people. Um, you're definitely going to be entertaining other men or women, Scorpio. So Scorpio, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.